guys, welcome to my channel, Carolina's Crafts, and in today's video I'm showing you guys my new digital planner. Now this one I created, it is like literally my heart and soul went into making this planner. It took weeks, it took days and lots and lots of hours, but I finally got it done, so it's listed in my shop now. Um, I just want to share with you guys like what's in it and then like how I'm going to be setting up my planner. So I want to like show you guys everything. So this will also cover some of the basics like how to add in um, inserts into your planner and things like that. So let's get started and I'll show you guys and I'll flip through all the pages. So this is the front cover. Here is the first page. I decided I wanted like a traditional like planner on the first page. It's rose gold. It's glittery and I love it and it just like matches my rose gold case which you know. I had to like, I don't know, I was I'm like totally into like the rose gold thing lately. So here is the next page just telling you a little bit more. It links a YouTube video also. Then the next page, this is just like the index page. So these buttons here link to the index page as well as the tabs that are up here. If you guys could see those tabs, the one through six. All of these plus these actually link to the page. So you could write over it and you could just like link and be taken to the next page as well. So for her example, I could write blah, 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 blah whatever I want there. And then let's say I want to go be taken to that page. I'll click on this little piece here, which is like the link kind of piece. And then I'll just click on this. And here we go. Here is the index page one. I could also click on it from these tabs up here. So let's go to five. And here we go. There is number five. You guys could see I also labeled them on top here so you know which page you're on. But let's go back to my index. So index page. Now the next page is going to be the leaving behind and looking forward to. Now this also links to the goals tab here. I think it's important to like let go of stuff in 2018 and look forward to stuff in 2019. So this is perfect because I just came out with it before the new year. So you could get started like with a, like a fresh new clean start. So for example, on this page, on leaving behind, I would probably write something like stress. So I'm going to click on my pen tool and I'm going to write like stress. Uh, normally I decorate this a little bit more just to make it pretty, but I'll also show you guys something else later. So I'd probably put something like stress, but I'm just gonna delete it because I think I might show you guys in another video of like how I'm actually decorating it. But leaving behind, so everything I wanna let go of and then everything I wanna look forward to. Then we're gonna go on to the next page. Now this is my January spread and every monthly spread, just like with the different, um, you know, month at the top. Here, you guys could see, I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys. But it says January in like a pretty script font. It has days from Sunday to Saturday. Here on this side you have like a this month section. So you could put in a quote here. You could put on like what you want to get done this month. Like your monthly goal. You have a little to-do list for that month when it's not specific to a certain day. And then obviously you guys could see here all the little circles are undated. So you could fill it in with whatever. Which by the way, also I didn't talk about this yet. But look at the spiral on the planner. I think it's just so pretty and it traditionally like looks like a planner. Which I love that. Next page you have your monthly goals. So here you'll put your, you'd write your January goals, what you want to accomplish, whether you want to make a certain amount of money, whether you want to gain more followers on Instagram, and like any kind of goals you guys could write here. And if you guys could see, this is all like a dot grid background to help you write in straighter lines. And then on this side you have birthdays events because... Um, I like a birthdays page and an events page in my planner specifically. Like sometimes I just like to fill this out ahead of time and not actually fill out the monthly calendar just yet. But I could always look back at this. With these balloons, I was thinking people could write in the birthdays here. So who's the birthday in January? Oh, my brother. Okay. So I would write the 16th and I would write my brother's name. And that is his birthday. I'd probably want to do that in different colors or something possibly. I'm not really sure. And then down on this list, you would have write down like any certain events if they're like planned ahead of time, if you don't want to put in the monthly calendar. So you could just write them in here. It goes through the days. This one is 1 through 31 for January because there's 31 days in January. So just like something like that. And I thought that was like super cute and like creative with like the balloons and stuff for a birthday. The next page is just um, a blank page. Well, I actually switched it up already in my planner. It starts off with a dot grid, then lined, and then blank. 
But so blank page, then we have the dot grid page, then you have a lined page. So you could uh, duplicate these as you want if you wanted more lined pages, if you wanted more blank pages or dot grid pages after every month. So I did them after every month only because, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I go to January, my tabs flip over as if like a divider in a planner, um, you flip the page on the tab and then the tab then goes to the left hand side instead of staying on the right hand side so I'll show you guys like another one I will click on February so you guys will see that February is now gonna move over to the left hand side did you guys see that like it moves over so now here you only have the rest of the months and then it moves over kind of like a traditional planner to the other side so anyway, here's February, and the same um, kind of thing here. You got February goals, birthdays and events. You're also going to have your dot grid page, your lined page, and your blank page as well. So I could go through all of these and show you guys, but it's pretty... Um, this, it's pretty much the same thing the whole entire time until we get to the last page. So let me fast forward to December. So December, I started filling out my calendar already. Um, you guys could see like I just put in stuff already here. Um, I just think it looks cute. I don't know. So you could write on it. I had like a game here on Saturday, the Islanders versus the Blue Jackets. I had a hair appointment yesterday, pajama day at school on Friday and dress down day next week. Had a coffee date. I had a doctor appointment today. I'm making pierogi at my sister's house a little bit later. Here, the green I blocked off because I don't have school that day. And on top of that, for New Year's, I'm going to Atlantic City. So um, I just put in like some things like that into my monthly spread here. I haven't filled this part out yet, but I think I might just want to put like a quote here or something. So here again, we have the December goals, the birthdays and events. Here I already put in my weekly spread. Then the, now this is an insert you could buy separately in my shop, um, and then you just put it into your planner and duplicate it and reuse it as many times as you want. I'm also going to show you guys how to add in more inserts, but I wanted to kind of like start planning out my week. I know it is still blank as of right now because I just wanted to show you guys. But all of the inserts, um, all eight and a half by eleven inserts, fit perfectly in this planner. I created it in a way where I wanted like regular sized. Um, inserts to fit whether you get them from my shop or from another shop I wanted them all to fit so it's not like so you don't have to go crazy like resizing stuff and like oh this needs to be longer or oh, oh this needs to be wider and like whatever I made it to work specifically for eight and a half by eleven like inserts so every single insert in my shop will fit into this planner then also you have the blank pages this is like also your notes section because there's a notes tab up here so after we get through that, here's the notes tab now. It starts with a dot grid, lined, and then also a blank page. And then after that, you could also go here by using the stickers tab. So here we have um, the these little numbers, which you could use for your calendar. Not everybody likes their handwriting. Um, so you got the little numbers to put in your calendar. You also have some stickers that you could put in which you guys saw I had in my calendar view already that I put in so they come in black they come in like this um pinkish rose goldy mauvey color I wanted it to match the tabs and then also a gray one so you got a hair appointment doctor appointment regular appointment nails appointment birthday dentist appointment class and then on this side I wanted to include something if you wanted to decorate your um, goals page whether it's your yearly goals or your monthly goals and you have professional personal friends and family health self-care love future fun and adventure career and notes so you have like those that you could just put in resize or whatever and like write what your goals are underneath it and it also comes in like this pretty script font as well so you could also add in like more stickers here as you go on and then I could just add in more pages as I go on as I get more stickers in my planner and then just use the tab to get to this page but that's pretty much it guys I mean here we just have the index pages which I showed you guys a link to these tabs up here so you have page one page two so you can label it whatever add in more pages in between I'm gonna have one for YouTube like YouTube video ideas I might have one for gratitude in here as well instead of doing a separate planner like I was doing before page three, page four, page five, and page six. 
and then that's it guys that's it that was the last page so that's my whole entire planner like what do you guys think do you guys love it or what um i love it so much and i just want to set it up now so let's set up my planner i don't know if we still got time but maybe we still got some time but i just want to like set it up and get to planning so let me add in some more like tracker stuff and things that i want in my planner first to make some room for some trackers i'm gonna go into my thumbnail view now this is like all the pages that i have in my planner i have like my weekly page here oh here you just drag it and drop it so here i want to have like my meal plan and grocery list so then i'm gonna have my weekly I also want to put in a habit tracker, so let me just duplicate some of these pages. So I just click on it, I click edit, I click on the page, and then down here is copy, so I click copy. And then I'm going to click done, and then this plus icon here, so plus, and then you get like a plus in between all these pages. So I need my habit tracker as well for um, my month. And so habit tracker, grocery list I think is next and then a weekly planner page. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put in um, my grocery list and things like that. Let me see if I have the photos on, on my uh, thing here. I think I might've gotten rid of them. <gasps> and I need my savings tracker. I forgot about my savings tracker. I gotta make some more pages for that. One second, guys. All right, so I'm gonna, I have my goals page here. I just duplicated one of the goals pages and I'm gonna add in my savings tracker here. Just to show you guys what I'm doing. I know I have like a lot of tabs and stuff open right now. OMG, I just have so many things and YouTube editing. Like I just do like a lot of things at once. But to show you guys, let's get to this. This is um, my finder window and a second finder window. So I'm gonna pull up all of my documents that I wanna transfer to my iPad um, on this little screen here. And then on this one, I'm gonna click on airdrop so I could airdrop them to my iPad. Um, I could just drag and drop them. So let me look up my files. I need my savings tracker. All right, so I need these two pages, again, gonna try to be going for 20K next year. Now these connect if you guys can see. Um, so I will put both of those, send them to my iPad. Just highlight them and drag and drop them. And then on your iPad, you'll get um, this screen here, which just says airdrop, and you're just gonna click accept. So now they're in my camera roll. I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna do this with a couple of more inserts that I want also. So I airdropped a whole bunch of photos to my planner. I got um, a savings tracker. I got the other page. I got my habit tracker. I have a winter bucket list. I just love putting this into my planner. I have books I have read, this book log sheet that I like to use, and I think that's it. So let's go back to my planner. Here, like I said, I'm putting in my savings tracker. So I'm gonna click this plus button up here. It has like a little plus sign. It's the second one from the left. I'm gonna click on image, photos, camera roll, and I said this is savings tracker. So this is the first page of it. Like I said, these all fit perfectly. So I'm just gonna resize this to, I mean, they fit perfectly, but you still have to like resize it, but at least the eight and a half by 11 fits. So here's the one page and then just tap and then it stays right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and repeat those steps to get the second page of my savings tracker, which is gonna go right here. And there we go. So there is my savings tracker. I'm also gonna add this to like a highlight tab. I don't have a savings tracker up here. I can use it just like for one of my indexes if I wanted to put this in my index instead. But what I like to do is just um, go to my thumbnail kind of view. I'm gonna click bookmark and then I'm gonna click the plus sign and then I'm gonna type in savings tracker. So then I could easily go to this page as well. So I'm gonna click okay, and there's my savings tracker. Anytime I wanna click on that, I could just go there um, and find my savings tracker. So now let's go back to my thumbnail view. We need to add in my habit tracker for December. So I wanted that to go on this page right here. So I have a blank page. I'm gonna click image, photos, and then I'm gonna add my habit tracker. Now, the only thing that's not from my shop is this habit tracker until I make my own. I just haven't had time to make my own, 
So this one is from Hustle Sanely and I will have her shop linked down below. I'm just trying to get the sizing. So I'm gonna tap and then I'm gonna add in the other page as well and just resize this. I'm trying to get them to line up evenly. That's the hardest part, but once it's in here, you could just duplicate the page for all the months. <laughs> All right, and tap, and there we go. Now I have my habit tracker as well. The next page, or wait, where did I want my book log? Hold on guys, I want my book log to be in the front as well. I'm gonna duplicate this page. Done, click add, make a duplicate. All right, this is the duplicated one. I'm gonna delete these images because I don't really need those. I'm gonna go over anyway. So you just use the lasso tool right here, this third, fourth one in the middle, and you just highlight and delete. But I wanted my book log tracker. All right, there's my book log on this side. Okay, so I got my savings tracker. I got my book log and I have some lined pages on this other side. So, and I also bookmarked it, so I have that done. So I decided on the other side of my book log, I'm gonna put in my winter bucket list. I don't know where else to put it right now. And I thought it would go there since I'm like tracking both something here, books I read, and here I get to cross off like what I did. And I could change out the tracker with every single like season that we're currently in. So I think that works perfectly fine as well. All right, I just also airdropped this um, meal plan thing that I wanted in my in my planner and also um, this grocery list. So we're gonna add this to my planner. Go to my pages that I made. You guys can also delete any pages that you're not using. So there's three note pages after every month, but if you guys don't wanna use those and you wanna duplicate your own, you can. Um, because there is a lot of pages in this planner like I worked so hard in it like I didn't want to miss anything so that's why um, it's like that but okay I want my meal plan to go onto this page so I'm gonna click the plus I'm gonna click image photos camera roll my weekly meal plan goes onto this side. And then I'm also gonna add in my grocery list and that goes on the other side. Now the good thing about um, digital planning is that when I'm at the grocery store, I don't need to take my whole planner with me because I could see everything from my phone. Which by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but this app is called GoodNotes. I will also have a link for it um, down below. But it's good notes, it's about eight dollars. Um, but and you just purchase it once and then obviously you have it forever. But all right, so there's my weekly meal plan and my grocery list. Let me show you guys what it looks like on my phone. Here I just wanted to show you guys the digital planner on my phone. So when I go grocery shopping, I just turn it and I could see everything on my phone as well. I think I could also navigate through tabs. So let's go um, to December so I could show you guys my grocery list. All right, so here's the December, here's the habit tracker, and then here's my grocery list. So going through the store, I just go like this and I like look through it all. I could see like everything I, could, I need to get. And then I also could use my highlighting tool and like highlight stuff as I get it as to sort of like cross off my list when I'm in the grocery store. So it syncs up with your iPad as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi and it syncs up through iCloud. So that works so well when I'm like at the grocery store, I don't have to take like my whole iPad with me. But guys, I think that's it on setting up my new digital planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I hope you guys found it uh, informative and helpful on how to do certain things. I will have all the links to everything, the trackers, the files, the inserts, the planner, everything will be linked in the description box down below. So check them out. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.